Hi everybody, this is Umair from Top 5 Solutions. This is the fifth part that I'm gonna start. Uh, you can see in my screen that uh, in the first four parts we implemented the interface and uh, in the third and fourth part we moved our snake in all four directions. Okay, so what we are gonna do in this part we are gonna uh, write some code to add a pickup for the snake as the snake will pick that uh, point or enemy or whatever you wanna say. Uh, the snake length will be increased alright so let's start what I need to do now you can see on my screen that I have already added two arrays before starting this part what you need to do is to pause the video and write it as it is inside your code uh, these are the default positions for the pickup alright other than this I need to add three more variables one is the image icon and other other two random variables for the position of pickup uh, this is the object that I need to make before generating random positions for my pickup so let's import it and now I need to add some random positions so next end and for X uh, I need to write 34 and 34 uh, is the total number of X positions uh, on the ho in horizontally and for the Y axis I need to add another variable for Y position next int and the default Y position for the pickup is 23 okay so these are the variables that we need to add for adding the enemy and now come down right here outside this loop and here I need to detect if the head of my snake is colliding with the pickup first I need to uh, print the pickup draw the pickup on my panel and then I will check uh, if the pickup has been collided with the snake head so first I need to draw it okay so enemy image equals to new image icon and here I need to write enemy.png okay this is the name of file right here and now I need to check if the this enemy is collided with the head snake so for that I need to add a condition if enemy x position x position equals to snake x length 0 you should remember that the 0th index of this array contains the position of snake head okay so we have checked for the x position and now we need to check for the y position so enemy y position y position okay uh, that should be equal to snake y length 0 I need to add the bracket right here and inside it if the collision occurs if the uh, snake picks up the coin then uh, I need to increment the length of snake snake okay length of snake uh, 
plus plus and after that I have to regenerate the pickup in another new position so what I'll do it I will next int 34 for y position I will generate next int 23 okay so what we have done in this part if we have uh, added the enemy we have added the uh, pickup uh, inside the blackish area in the in the default positions uh, these are the positions default and fixed position on the x-axis and these are the fixed position uh, on the y-axis now let's see if we have what we have now so okay I haven't yet print the icon I have to paint the image as well I forgot that so paint icon this graphics and its X position should be the enemy X position X position and Y position should be Y position okay now I have drawn the image so what I will do I'm gonna test my code if my pickup is drawn inside the blackish area so let's see okay so you can see that uh, my snake is moving inside the blackish area and the pickup is drawn uh, on the right side so uh, what I need to check here if the snake head is collide with that pickup the snake length should be increased okay so let's pick this up okay so you can see that my snake length is getting increased uh, as I'm picking up the enemies so we are done with this part in the next part what I will do I will add the scores at the top uh, and uh, add the game over and I will also show the length of snake uh, at the top right corner so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe this channel if you like it please share it with your fellows so see you in the next part Thanks.